Good morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Foley High School. Welcome to the Lion Pride News Network. Good morning, I'm Amelia Abels. It's Monday and a whole new week here at the Lion Pride News. Here's a look at today's announcements from around campus. The Focus program is selling long sleeve Lion Pride t-shirts for $16. If you would like one, please see Ms. Champion in room 406 to get yours today. Today's weather is going to be sunny with a high of 77. And a low of 57. Now back to the news. An important drama club meeting to discuss homecoming is scheduled for today during second break in Miss Anderson's room. Please make plans to attend. Attention Gulf Coast singers, dancers, and actors. Eric Walker from Impresario Productions invites you to audition for the Beat Unemployment music video. Well, they are asking for all types, shapes, sizes, and colors and male, any male or female between the ages of 17 and 70 to portray job seekers and employers. You need to bring your picture and a resume if you have one. No experience is necessary. Be prepared to do an acting and a dance audition and so you want to make sure that you bring comfortable clothing. There are some roles that are non-dance roles. So Megan, when is this shindig? Well, Logan, it's Monday, October 8, 2012, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And where is it at? It's at Baker High School Auditorium on 8901 Airport Boulevard in Mobile. There you have it, folks. So for any of you that ever dream of being in a music video someday, and if you're between the ages of 17 and 70, this is for you. This is a message for Hayden Harper. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday, little sis. Love you. Today for lunch, we're going to have cheese sticks, garden salad, green beans, and a brownie. And don't forget your milk. Hi, this is Logan Lane with the Lion Pride News Network, and I'm here with senior Chelsea Golson, who is a softball player extraordinaire and is excited for the upcoming season. Chelsea, can you tell us how you feel about the upcoming season? Um, I feel like we're going to have a good season. We've got a lot of people returning. We didn't lose too many seniors last year, but and we've got good people coming up, so I think it'll be good. I think it'll be pretty good. So for those out there that are hoping to try out, can you give us some information about when tryouts are? Um, tryouts are next Tuesday through Thursday, and um, it's from 4 to 6.30, I want to say. And um, if you're interested, just come try out. You never know. I mean, I didn't try out my freshman year because I was scared, but I tried out sophomore and didn't think I was going to make it, and I did. And I mean, I love the sport, and if you love it, just come out and do it. Well, Chelsea, well, I'm glad you spoke with us today. It seems like you're very passionate about softball. I'm sure there are a bunch of people out there who feel the same way. So like she said, try out. Don't be afraid. If you love it, do it. And Chelsea will be right there along with you. Thank you for talking to us today. Now back to the news. Don't forget the mandatory parent meeting for all players interested in playing soccer this season on Wednesday at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Any players that are not represented by a parent or a guardian may not be eligible to participate in tryouts this year. Repeat, any players that are not represented by a parent or guardian may not be eligible to participate in tryouts this year. Please see Coach B in room 407 for further details. Here we are again with another episode of Logan's Lane. Once again, I'm Logan Lane. Now, I would like to address something first. I've been getting a lot of questions about, will you ask this person a homecoming for me? Will you ask, you know, so-and-so, whatever. Well, the answer is no. And I'll tell you why. Why? Because, one, 
I don't want to go to homecoming with the person you want me to ask to go to homecoming with you. So therefore, why would I ask them? So I just wanted to clear that up. All right, so let's move on to our questions for today. Dear Logan, with a heart and a smiley face, I'm like really awesome, but I don't have like a BF, frowny face. What like sh totally should I do? Heart A, and there's a little kissy face there. I can tell you, uh, just, just be nice to the guy. Let him know your feelings. Be all cutesy and sweet and he'll come around. He'll come around and if he doesn't, then the right guy will. And that's the one you want. You want the right guy. All right, so next question. Logan, why do you talk to us like second graders? Well, friend, I didn't know that I did. But um, that's besides the point here. Well, in order to answer that question, why do I talk to people like they're second graders, let's take a look at this person's next two questions. Question number two, why are pineapples sharp? Number three, do you like my little pony? Well, judging from those two questions, you can see why I probably talk to you like you're a second grader because maybe you act like one. So, Miss Captain Extreme the Defender and Lupe the Cupcake King, wonderful high school names there. Anyways, I'm sorry if you feel that way, that I talk to you like you're a second grader. Maybe I will try to talk to you like a third grader from now on. Okay, thanks. So that's all of my questions for today. Remember that you can turn in any question, complaint, concern that you may have and I will address it right here because I'm the voice of the people. This is Logan Lane and you have been watching Logan's Lane. Now back to the news. And there you have today's Lion Pride News. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more news around campus. Have a great day. This is